All right, in this uh, video lecture, I'm going to go over circular interpolation motion, or G-code. So um, to cut along an arc in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction, you need to use G-code, uh, such as G02, which is clockwise, clockwise, or G03, which is counterclockwise. All right. So in this case here, we have some G code here. And this one tells me, this line of code tells me that I need to cut uh, using uh, a clockwise tool path clockwise toolpath, and I'm going to end up at uh, this point right here. So, you know, I need, I, so I'm going to go to, you know, x equals 0.5 with respect to um, g54. So I'll just, I'm going to assume that we're using the g54 work offset. Um, and it says to go to Y position, so go to Y position, four inches with respect to G54. And I want to cut with a 0.5 radius arc. Okay, a, a path of 0.5 radius. Okay, so let's look at this cutter here. So let's give this a, an initial position of, so this point right here is in an initial position of uh, x equals zero, uh, y is equal to 3.5, and z is equal to, let's say, negative 0.25. I'm just making that, these, this position up. Okay, and then it says to go to a position of x is equal to 0.5, y is equal to 4, and follow the radius of 0.25. All right, so it's going to go in a clockwise direction. So if we look down through the tool, so I'm, I'm just going to look down through the tool. Here's the circular tool. It's going to go in a clockwise tool path. All right, so this one would you know, go in the positive x-axis. It's going to 0.5, so it's gonna go to this point right over here. All right, so this, is, this point right here is x is equal to uh, 0 0.5. 500, y is equal to 4.000, and z uh, is negative 0 0.250. So this is where this point is, and that's where it's going to go to. And it's going to follow a radius of 0.5 inches. This tool path, maybe I'll draw the tool path in blue. Okay, so this, this arc here has a radius of 0.5 inches. All right, so let's look at another example here. So in this line of code, it's telling me that I need to go in a counterclockwise tool path, okay? Um, because it's using the G03. So counterclockwise uh, direction. And in, in this example, it's going to tell me to go to negative uh, 0.5. So go to this position from the current position. Go to x is equal to negative 0.5 with respect to uh, the G54. All right, and it says go to y is equal to four inches with respect to the work offset, G54. 
g plus b plus c, and follow a radius of 0.5 inches. That's where it says right there. So if we look at this, and we look through the tool, you know, our tools. We're looking. I'm looking through the tool. It's a circular tool, and it's going to go in a counterclockwise direction. So if this point right here is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to uh, 3.5 inches and uh, z is equal to negative 0.25, well then it's going to go in the counterclockwise position to uh, you know, a point over here. All right, and this point right here <coughs> is going to be x is equal to negative 0.5, y is equal to 4.00 inches, and z is equal to negative 0.25. All right, and it's going to follow an arc that has a radius of 0.5 inches. So from its current position, it's going to follow an arc to this position, and that position is going to be our 0.5. All right, so it moves in the counterclockwise position with the G. 0, 3 command and from your starting point it's going to go to x 0 0.50 with respect to g54 and y 4.0 with respect to g54 and move along a radius of 0.5 inches. So that concludes the video on um, circular interpolation motion.